I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello and welcome to Falcon TV. It's Tuesday, Jan January 9th, 2024. I'm Steven, along with the rest of the FTV crew. Oh, Chris High School, sit back and enjoy your ride. Here is a heartwarming story as well as a display of generosity. Patrons at a restaurant in New York City, bustling theater district, were discussing their plans to see the Broadway production of Merrily We Roll Along and their server expressed her own desire to catch the show. Regrettably, the cost of the ticket has proven to be a barrier for her. Little did she know that the words would spark an incredible act of kindness. As the diners finished their meal, they left Claire a jaw-dropping $500 tip and attached a heartfelt note that read, Go see Merrily sit in the orchestra. Overwhelmed with joy, she took to Instagram and shared her remarkable story posting photos from her unforgettable night out and expressing her own deep appreciation to the benefactors who made it all possible. And her words, magic is still alive in NYC and so is love and kindness and good, good people. Here is defining magic and others this week. The class of 2026 is meeting this upcoming Thursday, January 11th, during the first session of zero period in room 213. They will continue with their planning for the semi-formal dance in the beginning of March. Make sure to mark the date. There will be a mini spirit week beginning on Wednesday, which will lead up to this Friday's winter sports pep rally. Employers across a range of industries are dropping a job requirement once considered a ticket to a higher paying job and financial security, a college degree. That's right. Today's tight labor market has led more companies instead to take a more skill-based approach to hiring as evidence on job search sites like Indeed and ZipRecruiter. The relaxing of higher education requirements is in effect serving to correct the so-called inflation or, or when employers increasingly require a college degree for jobs that don't require college level skills, which has long been in the norm in recruiting. Additionally, 45% of employers surveyed said that they had done away with the degree requirements for certain roles over the past year, according to ZipRecruiter. This isn't for every job, but it does show a shift from the past. That's it for today. So for me and everyone here, have a great day.